We are trying to find and create our new identity for ourselves out of the military, coming into the civilian world. And you know, a lot of times that happens. Um, I think when you're younger, it's easier, but if you've given your life, you know, your adult life to the military, or the longer you've done that, the harder it is to make that transition. I joined the military at the time because it was a stable career and I knew I would have uh, a job for four years <laughs> uh, immediately after graduating uh, college. I would say Ecuador, being stationed in Ecuador was, was kind of the best of times and the worst of times. Um, it, a lot of interesting times there. I remember being down there and um, you know I was on a temporary duty assignment down there. Um, for an undisclosed amount of time because we were trying to counter uh, a terrorist threat that we had um, from the FARC. And Iraq, obviously, was uh, for me, it was a really good deployment. Um, we, we did a lot of good work out there and uh, we worked with a lot of good people, mostly the Kurds in northern Iraq. Um, and that was, uh, there were a lot of memorable experiences for me there. My initial plan was to go to Colorado, uh, University of Colorado in Boulder um, to their physics department. But, um, you know, Polytechnic had opened up. It was a brand new school. I had a history in, in the military of being first to do things, like first to open up an office in South America, first to open up a large detachment in Northern California. All these things, um, to me, it kind of calls to, to a pioneering um, spirit, right? So I thought, you know what, this is a great opportunity. Go to Polytechnic, um, be a pioneer student there and see what I can do and see what I see not only what I can do there for myself, but also how can I help others, you know, with my background, my experience and, and maybe um, contribute, you know, back, you know, give back in that way. Veterans Day means to me um, taking time to reflect and honor the contributions and sacrifices that others have made for the freedom that we enjoy. So to all the veterans out there, I would say that regardless of your status, if you're you know, current or you know, retired or separated, um, keep up the good fight. Uh, understand that you know, society still needs you, um, that you're not forgotten, and that you have an identity separate from the military, but it doesn't mean that the contributions you make can be any different.